This video was made possible by Ian Timms via Patreon. You, sir, are a proper legend. Guys, quick disclaimer, before this video starts, I was fully expecting today's video to be the debut episode of The Charlton Show. So convinced, in fact, that I even said in a previous video, the 20th of November is the first episode. I'm not gonna make that mistake again because it's not ready, it's just not ready, and I want it to be as good as it can be when it comes out. I hope you guys understand, but here in place of The Charlton Show, which will be coming soon, okay? By the new year, I promise. This is going to be an episode of the Football Manager Save, which I'm enjoying thoroughly, and I hope you are too. Let's go. How is it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Football Manager Charlton Athletic Save. Now, I think I got a little bit carried away since the last time I recorded an episode, to be fair, because I've, I've skipped all the way through to Saturday, the 8th of February. I think we were last in potentially November in episode two. But that's fine, you know, I think if we pick up the pace a bit, we might be able to get to a exciting destination sooner. You know, the, the longer the series goes on, we might get towards the Premier League, maybe. Who knows? I don't know how good I'm going to end up being at this game once I get into to further seasons. But certainly in our first season, we're doing pretty well. Um, I'll go through the schedule real quick. Let's have a look where we are in the, in the table right now. We are 11th place, in 11th place with 41 points and 15 points off of 6th, so probably not going to threaten this season for the playoffs. You never know, we could win every game from now until the end of the season, and we might, but I doubt it. We're also, I think, 15 points as well off of 22nd place. I think that's pretty good quick maths from me. Minus one goal difference. 10 games won, 11 games drawn, 9 games lost. I'm really proud of it. I think that we've done really well this season and I don't think there's any danger of us going down unless we have an outrageously bad run of form from now until the end of the season. Anyway, let's go back to the schedule. I think the last game that we had on screen was this one. 2-1 loss against Luton. We had a 2-2 draw against Sheffield Wednesday. Goals from Conor Gallagher, Conor Gallagher? Conor Gallagher and Johnny Williams. We had a... Fair few games in December, to be fair. 3-1 loss against Middlesbrough. Lyle Taylor with our only goal, and Lewis Wing had a bit of a stormer in that one. We then went on to defeat Huddersfield, quite surprisingly, 1-0. Josh Cullen with the goal of that game. Uh, Hull defeated us at the Valley. Uh, I thought he said 1-0 there. It just said 2-1, didn't it? Oh, sorry, I'm talking rubbish. 2-1 to Hull. Matthew Pennington with an early goal. We replied through Macaulay Bond and Camille Grzyski. You'll see as well, I'm trying to get Luca Vegas some first team experience. At the moment, he's a one and a half star player. I think I might have overplayed him. You can see he's played seven games, one off the bench in the championship this season. I think I might need to bring Lockyer back in. At that point, he played with Lockyer, but more recently, he's been playing with Pierce. I think. The idea is to get him a bit of an experienced partner to learn off of. Anyway, uh, we then had a game against QPR away. We actually won it 2-0, even though they were on a pretty good run of form. Taylor and Bond with the goals there. You'll see that's quite a common theme. Taylor and Bond have been very, very good for us with the goals. Bristol City, we then beat them to, to gain uh, six points off them this season. Beat them again, this time at the Valley. Taylor and Cullen on the score sheet once again. And then finally, in December, we had a 3-1 loss against Derby, but that was at Pride Park. We did get a goal from Johnny Williams, but they were just a little bit too good for us. We then had a pretty bad run, another defeat, this time away at the Liberty Stadium against Swansea. Goal again from Macaulay Bon. The FA Cup, we got knocked out by Leeds. We tried to experiment a little bit there with with wide midfielders, something I might do maybe in the pre-season before next season. We bought some young wingers, if you remember, in episode one or maybe two. I can't remember when I told you guys about those wingers. But we've signed some young wingers, namely, I think, Heights and Dobre. I don't know how good they're going to be, but we want to be able to play this formation we're playing now, the narrow for basically the same formation we play in real life when we play the diamond in midfield. That's what we've been playing. But I also want them to learn this formation with basically narrow wingers and one, one lone striker with a sort of number 10 behind. So that's what we tried. Didn't work this time, but we did manage to get a goal. Wasn't completely an embarrassing day out. FA Cup, we did get knocked out, though, however, by Leeds, who was, again, a difficult opponent at Ellen Road. We did OK. Then we had West Brom, drew 1-1 at the Valley with them. Johnny Williams on the score sheet again. Williams then started to drop off and started being uninterested in games for seemingly no reason. So I think he played this one and played, actually, to be fair, he played OK. Josh Cullen and Taylor got goals there. Might have been this game then, the Fulham game, where he was really uninterested. He got 6.8. I mean, he played average again. But then um, I, I started to have problems with the fact that he just was in, disinterested in the games. And we brought in 
Oz to him off of this Barnsley game and dropped Williams to the bench. And it was the best decision that we could have made as he got a 9 out of 10 performance with a goal and an assist to cap it off. Lyle Taylor with the other goal. So that's what's happened on the pitch. Transfer-wise, we have sold Tomer Hemed. Don't know how we can actually... Oh, yeah, transfer history. We sold Tomer Hemed. Where is it now? It's probably down here somewhere. Is this in order? Oh, out. Here we go. So we sold Tomer Hemed to Young Boys for 500k, which could rise to 600k. Now, remember, he only had six months left on his contract. So for me, that's a really good bit of bit of cash injection really and apparently we're in a bit of a financial crisis at the moment it keeps popping up in my inbox this board this new board since Roland sold is actually not that great like they don't have that much money they're not investing in us really I've, I've requested funds for certain things that I think we need like Darren Bent getting another coaching badge Jason Yule getting another coaching badge and they've refused basically because because the money situation is not very good I don't know how much I can affect that but anyway we sold him for half a million was a great bit of a bargain for me because I wasn't really using him Ed when he when he was playing he was coming off the bench for five minutes maybe scored like two goals for us that's about it so we sold him we also let George Lapsley go uh, on loan to Blackpool and we signed a couple of players young mostly young players including this guy Ed Elewa Ik I'm going to try and say this Ik Ik Pakwu El Elewa Ik Pakwu I don't know that's probably a million miles away but he's signed and then gone on loan to Weymouth Ado's gone on loan. Anyway, you can see there, if you want to pause and have a look, one of our new signings, Heinz, went on loan to Solihull Moors. Moors? Oli Moors? I don't know. Solihull Moors. And that's pretty much it. Now, the other major, major, major thing that's happened, if we go up here and look for Johnny Jackson, you will see the boy is the manager of Barnet. Now, they approached him, and it came up in my inbox, so I went, oh, I don't want this to happen. Johnny Jackson's a very important part of us. Wouldn't leave us, surely. I think I offered him 1.1k to remain manager. I didn't know how much Barnet had offered him, but he rejected us for an extra £100 a week and went to Barnet. Football manager does you dirty sometimes. I didn't expect it, but he's gone off. So if we go to our own scouting, sorry, staff and go to coaching staff, coaching team, you will see that we promoted Jason Yule to assistant manager. 43 years old, actually six years the senior of Johnny Jackson. Not the best assistant manager, judging by football manager's ratings, but he knows the club. Hopefully he can improve. And we're paying him a bit more money than we were paying Jackson, unfortunately, but that's how the cookie crumbles. He knows the club. It's all good. It's all fun. Andy Cole's there still. Darren Bent's still in the setup. And they employed a new under-23s manager amongst themselves from externally, I think. I think I also signed this guy as an extra coach, like a fitness coach, Carl Halabi from yeah from reading i'm pretty sure i did yeah i'm, I'm like 95 percent sure i did that's pretty much everything i've got to catch you up on we can go straight in now to a game against wow look at that by the way albie morgan with a 9.5 in training i think he might be injured for the next game but we'll keep an eye on it and go into this game against stoke oh one more thing i've just skipped one day so we're on match day now but one more thing transfer history i don't know if you saw this it might have popped up it might not have but it's actually not here in this tab yet but we've definitely got an incoming transfer, and it's a pretty major transfer. It's a German centre-back. Now, I don't know what screen I have to go to to see who's about to come in. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Jan Boller, 19 years old, and we have paid 500k going up to 1.5 mil, I think, for him. He comes in in the summer. He's a German centre-back who plays currently for FC Juniors, who I don't know what actually league they play in, Austrian First Division. So a bit of a random league, but he's a very well-rated young defender. We'll go straight into our first team, despite being 19, probably, and could be the new Patrick Bauer. We'll see in due time if he's going to be worth that money. But the scouts liked him, and, so I, and I needed a defensive signing, so I went with it. So that's what we've done. You'll also see a couple of youth players that we signed cropping up here and there, but when they actually do anything worth... Noting, I'll sort of retrospectively show you those players and what they've done for us if they do anything for us, if that makes sense. So here we go, game day, Stoke City. I'll decide the lineup and we'll get straight in. So real quick, let's go through the team lineup. Dylan Phillips in goal, Purrington at left back, Pierce at centre back, Lockyer comes in for Luca Vega, who I don't want to ruin by playing him too much. Solly on the right back, uh, the right back position, sorry. Cullen, Gallagher and Morgan make up the midfield. Oz Tuma remains in central attacking midfield over Williams after that incredible performance against Barnsley. 
Bond comes in for Leco, who drops to the bench, and Taylor comes in for himself. I mean, he doesn't come in for anyone. He basically is just playing as he normally does. So I don't know what I'm talking about, really. Let's go to the team talk. I think I'm going to just basically tell them that they need to they need to make the most of getting on a, on a good run, basically. I think I just say go out there and carry straight on from where you finished the last match. A couple of the players responded. I say, I'll say I believe in them in a calm way. They should all respond well to that. Yes, they all do. We'll end the team talk. We'll kick off. And here we go. Stoke City got some very notable players. Vokes, Ints, Nick Powell. Did he move from Wigan in real life or is that just a football manager thing? Joe Allen, Martins, Indy, Carter, Vickers, lots of players. J Jack Butland. We know all about Stoke, but they're just struggling. They're just struggling at the moment. Let's give a little shout from the sidelines. Let's say get creative to the boys. Hopefully they'll respond well to that. Come on, let's do something with our possession here. Let's give them another little shout. Let's go for... Demand more, I suppose. They seem fired up by whatever their manager said to them. Are, they, are we playing well? We're playing okay. All 6.7s and 6.8s, really, at the moment. First highlight, and it's going to be a Charlton highlight. Taylor running with the ball. Go on, son. Stick that away. Jack Butland behind it. Jason Pierce has been booked. We'll tell him to ease off tackles. Looks like we are playing a lot better than Stoke at the moment. Look at that possession we've got, even away from home, here at the Britannia. Let's give him one more little shout. Let's, uh, let's tell him to, to get creative again. Feel like they'll respond well to that. They are inspired. Come on, boys. Let's have another highlight. Okay, quite hard to be fair. Jason Pierce booking and Liam Lindsay booking the only two real highlights other than that shot from Lyle Taylor. Jack Butland was quite easily behind it. Let's give them a little team talk. Jason, you wants us to tell them that their efforts were very good. I think I'll just say if we continue to work hard, we'll win this. Yep, a few of them responded to that. Uh, let's just give them a bit of motivation because... Oh, I just had a bit of a bad impact on Ben Purrington there. I think I might have clicked the wrong thing there. I went for uh, I went for something. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's end the team talk. Let's get into the second half. See if we can get any highlights. We'll maintain this positive mentality because it's been doing us well this season so far. Look, we're 11th, yeah? That's a decent place to be at this point of the season. We're playing better than them, it does seem. Let's shout at them to... Let's demand more. I think there was something to make changes to there. Just basically closing Tommy Smith down. That's fine. I think we're going to have to look to the bench in a second. Ah, look, a little injury there to Albie Morgan. We're going to have to sub him off. We'll bring on Jake Forster Kasky. That looks like it could be a bad one as well. So we'll get Forster Kasky on the pitch and hope that Albie Morgan isn't out for too long. He also got an injury similarly in the last game. So maybe I just need to, to give Albie a bit, a bit of a spell on the sidelines just to get rid of some of that, some of that match fatigue. 70 minutes played, no highlights in the second half. That's crazy. This could be a real board draw here. Should we make a, a change up top? Looks like Bond's playing well. Let's let's actually put Johnny Williams on. Actually, should we put Chucks on? Let's put Chucks on. I think Chucks could do a little job here. I think he also scored in real life against Stoke. He's on the pitch now for Oz Tuma, who's not been able to follow up his amazing performance against Barnsley with much. I don't think there's going to be any other highlights here. Let's give them a final shout. Demand more. Hopefully they re respond well to that. Five minutes to go. Doesn't look like much is going to happen here, does it? To be honest. Should we just put Oshilaja on? Because Solly's... Now, nah, to be fair, Solly's playing well. Let's just play. Looks like there's going to be nothing going on re really here. Come on now. Surely. Surely something's got to happen. Oh, is it us? It is a free kick. Jake Forster Kasky over it. What's it? Is this going to be a last minute winner? Go on, son. Oh, my God. Jason Pierce with a last-minute winner for the boys. First goal of the season. What a time to grab the winner. Macaulay Bond, Taylor. Don't know, don't really know what happened. But in the end, it fell to Jason Pierce, who whacked that one in the back of the net. And we take a very emphatic victory against Stoke away from home. I would, have, I would have been more excited about that, but I'm recording this at, like, 2 a.m. So that's why I didn't get that excited. But that was an absolutely clutch little goal there from the the captain Jason Pierce wonderful stuff look at those performances as well all high sixes and sevens away from home at the Britannia look that's it that's a, that's literally a cold wet night away at Stoke where we've got the one nil win could Lionel do that probably yes that is the answer to that question let's go assertively or passionately people had written us off today and you've proved them all wrong great result I don't need to say anything more specific than that. Very well done. All the boys, even the subs. Little seven there from... Uh, oh, no, that was actually Morgan before he got injured. How did Jake do? He was involved in the goal. 
put that free kick in, 6.7. Fine. We'll continue. Great result, but not long after, we need to get a result now against Nottingham Forest. And Morgan, luckily, only out for one to two days, but I think I will definitely drop him for the next game just out of uh, fatigue. Look at this. Leicester boss Brendan Rodgers was seen looking at Albie Morgan. Please don't sign Albie Morgan off me. He's injured. I'm not going to play him for a while. Look at those other results there. Millwall getting a win against West Brom. That's an emphatic victory for them as well. Have a little. Let's have a little quick look at the... Where is it now? This competitions. And you can see we've moved up to 10th place. So doing very well. If we get the top 10 this season, I will be so happy with my efforts. But we could maybe have pushed for for those top six places if we had a little bit more consistency. But, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Let's go ahead and look at this Nottingham Forest game now. Probably wrap up the episode after that. But that was a great, great win. Couple of changes then as we go into this game against Nottingham Forest away. We bring in Matthews at right back. I'm actually going to change his... No, we'll keep him automatic actually. I quite like Matthews in that in that position there. Lockyer and Pierce remain at the back. Page comes in at left back for a rare game over Purrington. Fatigue, the only real reason there. Full Stokeski in for Albie Morgan. And that really is it. Prattley on the bench as well because I saw that he got fired up by some of my press conference talk. I basically said that we want to get revenge on Nottingham Forest because they beat us in the reverse fixture. So we're a little bit fresher. We've got a little bit of, of, of chopping and changing, mainly to the bench. Well, actually, I say that, not really. It's a little bit of both. And we now have to team talk the team. Encourage the players, give them a little bit of a morale boost, says Jason Yule. I feel like we should say we own Nottingham Forest, yes. And the majority of the players liked that. I have faith in you. Go out there and make the difference. That is what we're going to say to everybody. We'll end the team talk. We'll kick off. Here we go. They are a very difficult opponent, Nottingham Forest, on Football Manager, I've, I've discovered after my one game against them that I lost. That's the that's what I'm going by by saying that. But here we go. Let's see if there is a highlight soon. Little clip here. It's Ribeiro to Bostock to Yates. Please lose the ball. Please lose the ball. Please give the ball away. I thought that was a goal. Over it goes from Nottingham Forest. Luckily, that's we escaped that there. Let's go for a little bit of a... Oh, hang on. There's another highlight here. And it's going to be Forrest again. Please lose the ball. This one gets in the back of the box and it eventually gets away. Oh, that was a close escape. Okay, let's 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 say get creative. They're inspired by that feedback. Are there going to be any more? Are there going to be any highlights that give us possession of the ball? That's what I want to see. Thirty-three minutes played. Who's got the ball here? Phillips. Please don't lose possession, boys. Please don't lose possession. Oz Tum. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, I thought Taylor was going to stick it around the keeper there. We do have a corner though. Taken by Adam Matthews and straight into the arms of the on loan Manchester City keeper. Murich, who played the other day against England in that... Oh, thought they were going to score there. Another good save from Dylan Phillips. Never mind. They've got a corner. Carvalho and away to Cash. Boston Carvalho away again. they still got possession. Get it away, boys. And they have. Here's a corner and it's away. Back to Carvalho and away again. They've got another opportunity here. It's Cash to Ben and Luan. Bostock. Ribeiro, great tackle, Matthews. Let's set ourselves on the attack. Go on, Bon. Oh, look at him. He skinned the defender. Go on, son. Oh, that's, out. that's it, the post. Still got the ball, though. Oh, Bacoli, Bon from the right-hand side. Almost a little bit of magic there. Fairly end-to-end -end game. Team all looking focused after some of that some of that sideline shouting. Looks like Gallagher could get a little bit knackered in this game, but I feel that like they played well here. I'll say... Give me everything you got left. They didn't do anything to that. Okay. You weren't that bad, but you can still improve. I'm going to say that to everybody. I'm going to say that to everybody because that's how I truly feel. We'll end the team talk. Let's start the second half. Can we grab three wins in a row, two wins in the episode, and two away wins in the episode if we do manage to grab a goal? Close down Johan. He needs to be closed down, mate. No highlights so far. To be fair to Forster Kasky, he's not played that well. I might do a little midfield substitution here think I am going to do that right now. So yes, on comes Darren Prattley for, oh hang on a minute, Matthews to Cullen, to Gallagher, to Page. Oh, I thought Page was going to whack that one past the keeper. Come on now. Don't get us, don't get us like this. Don't get us like this. He's put it wide. Grabben of all people has put it wide. Demar Moore, come on boys. So I've brought on Johnny Williams to replace Conor Gallagher. Don't know what he can do. Here's Ribeiro. Uh-oh. Yates, Yotta, can we tackle him? Yes, Page. 
Ah, oh, we've lost the ball again. Back to Williams. Go on, son. Let's go. Let's go. Skins a few of them. Loses the ball. Maybe I shouldn't have put him so deep. Well done. Is this going to be a Charlton highlight? No. Jenkinson. Ex Charlton, of course. Okay, we nick the ball. Cullen, finally. Go on, Taylor. Go on, son. Yes! Lyle Taylor grabs the goal, which puts us 1 0 up against Forrest. That is another late goal at a very difficult away ground here in the Championship. We are on such form. Lyle Taylor, such an important part of our team as well. I think that was Cullen doing a dirty work in the midfield there. It was it was end to end there. Oh, it's offside? Or is it onside? No, it counts. Or did they just give it as onside and it actually was off? I don't know. Either way, concentrate, boys. Concentrate. Let's make a little sub here. Waste a little bit of time. Let's take off McCauley Bond for Jonathan Lecco. A little bit of pace up top. No harm in doing that. And I think we're going to get the dub. We are going to get the W, which stands for win. What a performance, what a result, what a game. Even Prattley did all right off the bench there. Hasn't really featured for me at all this season. Look at those ratings there, particularly for Cullen, it seems, man of the match. And, of course, Lyle Taylor. Well played, boys. Let's give him a team talk. I can't think of anything. Jason Ewell's lost the plot, mate. He says that he can't think of anything specific. I'm going to say a very nice victory. Well done. I'm far from pleased. I say, well done, lads. That was a good win for us. I don't think I need to say anything else. Let's continue. Let's see where we are in the league. There's the other scores. And we are still in 10th, but on equal points with Reading, who have a game in hand. But we are way safe of that 22nd place. Way, way safe. Literally, yes, 20 points now off of the relegation zone and 12 points off of 6th. Could we do it? Could we do it? I doubt it. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode. Make sure if you're enjoying this series, you slap a big old like on it, you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Sweet.